be back with sort of full auto gap. Now we have we have a new boss and wow. Just wow. Since this is the first time the boss has appeared, you can get the min score by doing normal. It's only 4k. Normally I do do a full auto team with budget units and then an invested, but sadly this time my budget team is semi-auto. But my vested team is completely audible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so we get our boy Jake on the field here. Now normally normally I would I would sit there and tell you to turn 2x off. And and honestly you should. But for sake of time, no. We're we're gonna leave it on, even though it is less DPS, we probably could have gotten a little bit of a higher score, especially for how long this fight goes. And filling the space of watching these people hunt up at a snail's pace is just ridiculous. This is this is the worst mod ever. Like why? Why did they give us this mod? Anyways, we got we got Eve. Now Eve 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 isn't necessary because of the boss's special. She actually counters the special, which is great. Now, if you don't have Eve, you can use Jushun. Ray could also do it as well, but Ray doesn't do any DPS, so Jushun is probably your best bet to use. He won't do as much as Eve, but he'll, he'll do more than Ray. After that, we're gonna get Sealed to sit there and start our proc for Vivian because our, our timer runs out actually and then we get Gurian and I want to call her Dash for some reason. Wow, I'm actually blanking on her name but it doesn't matter. We get our second sniper to proc our Vivian giving us crit damage and attack speed and which I, that, that attack speed actually does help out with keeping the stuns on the boss. As we sit there and see Jake is sitting there doing a pretty good job of keeping those shields off. Now, big surprise, but um, Eve's our top damage. I was actually surprised Rebecca got out DPS. Mons I'm using for this team, we're going minus 50% attack, minus 50% HP, minus 40% A speed, minus 40% skill haste. We don't touch the boss's HP. We do plus 50% boss attack. We do minus 30% deployment resource gain. We do not touch that thing. And then we give the boss his special requirement, which since we're not running mechs, that's just basically free points. So for gear here, we're, well not just gear, but the ship here, we're running New Detroit, we're running Vivian as our operator. For Jake, he does not need tank gear. God, this man can survive anything. So we're being cheeky since he, every three attacks, he sits there and stuns the bot, our son's mechs. We're going to go ahead and go just full swift on him. Now we do give him a little skill haste because, again, we really, really don't need any kind of res or anything so you know might as well get some more specials out that also stun then Jian, we're going with cdr now she doesn't have to be as fast as possible 76 should do just fine i have a little extra at 77 here eve we're gonna sit here and throw our best anti-supporter imagine having that kind of gear and attack with anti-ground damage. Now, granted, you can sit here and use volcano gear as you see here. You could do attack, attack. Uh, you can also do, well, melee damage is probably better for her on this fight. Rebecca, we're going with ult amp damage here because the only thing that really matters is her ult amp or ult damage for the most part say that but there are some breaks in the shield that she can actually get some damage in if you want to just sit there and throw attack attack or anything of that nature attack speed anything with range damage basically as long as she has just a little bit of skill haste 
Senjio, we just go all in on skill haste. We put everything, our best skill haste gear on her. We want her spamming everything, her ultis and specials as much as possible. Seal can actually go on complete damage, just full CDR. Go for it. The skill haste and everything. You can also probably do A speed, to be honest. Kurian, you throw as much damage as you can on him. We're going with attack attack here. Range damage would probably be better if you can afford it. And then Dorothy. Dorothy is just whatever you want to throw on her, to be honest. I'm just going with Swift. Attack speed. But you can go full damage on her as well. Alright, so I'm, I'm probably going to get some shit for this. But, unfortunately, with the minus movement speed to ground units I really couldn't come up with a full auto so we're going with semi-auto so we just have to sit here and deploy the, the units here want Alex up in the front Sinjia Rita Chinatsu all that you know slightly back with Sylvia uh, we deploy Zhao Lin a little farther back because she outranges the boss so she's not in any threat and then we're gonna sit here and toss in Agnes here to get ourselves a nice permanent minus 20% death buff on the boss. Now, I, I, I call these budgets, and honestly, this is this is rather budget. If you're not using a Jake, th 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 this is probably as good as it gets. Me, at least, until some new uh, some new tech is found. But honestly. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. If we didn't have the minus ground, this probably could actually have been done on full auto with this gear. But yeah, uh, so we're going to be using Rita here because of her stun. Same with Sylvia and Zhao Lin. We're going to sit here and hopefully get some gaps in the shield so that we can actually do damage to this boss. Which is proving to be, you know, problematic. And also, probably the other reason why this boss is so difficult. That shield is ridiculous. Like... How, how are free to play actually supposed to sit here and fight this? There aren't, there are like very few units that actually stun the boss that are free to play. Like I had to, I had to pull Rita, you know, dust the, du, you know, dust Rita off, pull her out of like the, the the waiting box just to sit here and use her for this boss here, just because she actually has a stun on her passive every time, every three auto attacks. So. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 <laughs> so this is fun but luckily we get the boss down with enough uh, permanent death breaks we're, we're, we're counting uh, dash as a permanent death break because you can actually keep her death break up a uh, hundred percent on the boss which is actually pretty nice and along with quad we actually get enough damage that we can we can get 9k but we don't need 9k we only need 4k so Take it for what you will. Now, I already had a suspicion that Rita was going to, or actually 10k, I thought it was 9, that Rita was going to be uh, top damage, but I was really surprised about Agnes being top. Well. So for this team, I'm just taking the very last Super Machine Gap Special Requirement activated. All this means is that you can't have mechs on the field. If you put a mech on the field, this boss becomes impossible. Even more than what it already is. For the ship, I'm using Enterprise Quad. We want that juicy death pin as well as the death break that it brings. My Kim Hana here is just a level 1 Kim Hana with roll advantage. There is no roll advantage against support, so those side skills completely useless right there. But Kim Hana, Vivian. Well, Vivian wouldn't work with this comp, but Kim Hana with a better size skill would be preferable. It really doesn't matter what you do for Alex here for gear. You can literally throw anything on her. She won't die. Uh, I'm just going with CDR. A tank CDR build. Sinjia, I just kind of threw whatever on. She's helpful. She does do some decent damage. But, frankly... It just doesn't matter what you put on her either. Rita, you want A speed. You want A speed all the way. She has a wonderful little passive that sits there, and every time she sits there and does her special attack or her, you know, 
she stuns the boss. Or, yeah, she stuns the boss. So you want to sit there and take advantage of that, put as much A speed on her with as much range damage latent, uh, ground damage as you could possibly fit. Janatsu, CDR gear. This works just fine. Obviously, more is better. Shaolin, interestingly enough, I went with CDR because she can actually stun mechs with her, her special. Now, this is only for Kestrel, the rearmed version. So, we're going with 76% skill haste to make her as much of a stun bot as we can. And we have our other stun bot. Now, as you can see, I actually have tank gear. She has absolutely no defense. She is paper thin. This boss hurts her way too much. I went with ground res on her, range damage res, and then gave her as much skill haste as I can. Agnes, you can just throw any A speed on. You'll notice that this is an anti-defender set A speed, yet she actually was second on the DPS. So, obviously, range damage would be better on her as well. Dash, you can basically throw whatever on, uh, as long as you don't take A speed mods. If you take A speed mods, you need to actually sit there and give her A speed to compensate. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helps you get the minimum score this season. It is only the first day. Hopefully some new tech is found to make this boss easier before the end. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're feeling extra special, you can join the Mage Institute by clicking the join button. You can catch me on Discord, link in the description. If you want to support this channel, there's a link in the description for that too. As always, see you next time.